Well, I collapsed on October the 30th going into dialysis uh, in the hospital lobby. I had a heart failure. And then they told me I needed a pacemaker. And they tried, attempted twice to put the wire in my chest and it failed. And then uh, they came to me and said that uh, luckily that the Hamilton Hospital had six of these little babies, the smallest pacemaker in the world. He was on dialysis, so he had to uh, a catheter for dialysis on the left side, so they tried to put a pacemaker on the right side, and when they went in, they noticed that the vein was blocked, so they couldn't use it. When they couldn't put the pacemaker thin, they said, Donald, if we can't find a solution, we're going to have to remove your driver's license. And driving, my driving to me in the countryside is my lifesaver. This new pacemaker is called a Micra, leadless pacemaker. It's a tiny pacemaker the size and the shape of a bullet and it is different from a regular pacemaker in which there's a, the whole unit is, a, is, a, is a one piece. A regular pacemaker is a battery the size and the shape of a tuning that has a wire attached to it and it's put in the body through an incision, a surgical incision as opposite as these new micro leadless pacemaker which is uh, this tiny bullet shaped device that goes through the groin with a long catheter that goes inside the heart and deploys it to the tip of the heart. A couple of days later I noticed the difference in my lifestyle, that uh, I didn't have the lapses of, of energy or in my breathing. My everything was balanced. It's a nice feeling to be in control of your body and that's what that, that little device has helped me do. Not having a pacemaker and not being able to drive would have been a significant uh, issue for him in terms of quality of life. So uh, it was very rewarding I would say.